Welcome to the Tough Decisions Network. This is your tip of the day. Be sure to visit toughdecisions.net to sign up for our free weekly entrepreneur email where we send you news about the latest technology for your business, inspiring quotes, and the latest entrepreneur books. That's toughdecisions.net. Before we get started, let's hear from one of our sponsors. Have you ever thought about investing in real estate, but find yourself so busy that you don't have time for it? Do you have FOMO, which is the fear of missing out? At HanfordCapital.com, we help investors with passive real estate investments that project better returns than traditional investment vehicles such as the stock market. If you'd like to find out more about our passive real estate investments, visit HanfordCapital.com. That's H-A-N-D-F-O-R-D Capital.com. We will jump on a call with you to discuss your investment goals and to see if our investments are a good fit for you. This advertisement is not to be construed as an offer or recommendation to buy or sell a security. Visit HanfordCapital.com. Hi, this is Danae, and I'm going to be sharing a daily tip with you today on leading your millennials. Now, if you recall, and if you listen to our book series on Leaders Eat Last, we talked a lot about this millennial generation that is very unique and has some very good skills and highly effective in certain areas, but they also have some glaring weaknesses that we haven't seen in previous generations. So I wanted to do a quick series of daily tips on leading millennials. And so I'm going to have seven tips, and today we're going to talk about the first one. The first tip that I have for you on leading the millennials in your corporation is to keep your conference room free of cell phones. Now, initially, that might sound obvious. Maybe it doesn't sound obvious. Maybe it sounds difficult, and I think it is, but I do think it's very important, and I want to explain why. If you recall, and if, even if you don't, let me just kind of review and go over some of the characteristics of the millennial generation. One of the highlights of this generation is that they are a very distracted group. And again, I'm going to be making a lot of generalizations. Please don't misunderstand what I'm saying as being all negative or all critical. It's really just more observation and fact. And, and I myself am part of this millennial generation. So I'm not trying to put them down. I want to be accurate and factual so that we it is what it is. And as leaders, we have to learn to lead this group of people effectively. And one of the things that we can do is keep our conference rooms free of cell phones. Now, that is important because, as I said, this generation is a very distracted generation. We talked a little bit about multitasking and and really the mirage of multitasking because the brain is really not able to multitask. It's more of a rapid toggling or juggling between two different activities. So having the cell phones in there is, is a huge distraction to this millennial generation because they are so used to toggling back and forth between face-to-face conversation and cell phone use or face-to-face conversation and social media, text messages, emails coming in. And that's just second nature to them. If you want their attention and you want their undivided attention, you have to be able to get rid of that cell phone. And I think part of being an effective leader is being willing and able to stand up in front of this group and say, look, this is a problem for you. And I know this is a problem for you. And this is how we're going to get rid of this problem. And enforcing it. This is also something that I think we should understand is not going to make a difference overnight. You're not going to notice a huge difference in your conference room just because you had one meeting without cell phone use. What I think you will find is if you make your conference room free of cell phones, you're going to have people come into that conference room and they're just going to sort of sit down and it's probably at first going to be a bit quiet. No one knows what to do because what does everyone do when they're waiting on something to start? I would say 85 to 90% of your audience is going to be sitting there looking down at their cell phone, social media, messaging, checking email, whatever they need to do. So it's going to be kind of quiet. But what you want to do is encourage conversation. And what you want to do is encourage the face-to-face social interaction And the way that you do that is to get rid of the distraction of the cell phone. That being said, it's not going to happen. That kind of result is not going to happen overnight. You have to give it time. It's just like it doesn't help to brush your teeth two minutes unless you do it every day. 
multiple times a day. It doesn't help to go and get 30 minutes of exercise once a month. You have to do it multiple times a week. It doesn't help to eat one healthy, high protein, high fat, low carb meal. You have to do that on a regular basis. And so this is something that we're really looking to produce long-term results, encourage the social interaction between the people in the conference room. Just a brief reference to the book. Remember that oxytocin is something that can only be produced when you are in physical proximity to another person. It can't be produced through a Skype meeting or through a conference call when people are all over the country. And there's a time and a place for those, but your conference room needs to be a place where people are interacting socially, face-to-face, but also when the meeting or the teaching begins, you also want their undivided attention, distraction-free. And the only way to do that is to require that place to be free of cell phones. So the first tip in dealing with millennials, keep your conference room free of cell phones and explain to them why and insist that it be this way. And then also, of course, lead by example and leave your own cell phone in the office. Thank you for listening to the Tough Decisions Network. Visit toughdecisions.net to sign up for our free weekly entrepreneur email. That's toughdecisions.net.